There's a new addition to Constance Road. We're going to explain what this sign is and how it functions. Robert Weber, the city's traffic engineer, joined us, and we are on location today to talk about a very special project that has now come to fruition. Robert, tell us about the sign. So, as you can see, we're on Constance, and driving down Constance from Main Street, there's a railroad crossing around the corner at Pitch Kettle. But it's around the corner, so if there's a train there, you can't see it until it's too late and you're stuck. Here at Broad Street, there's a bridge that goes over the train, and if you knew in time to turn, right. you could avoid the crossing. Gotcha. So the idea was, we put a sign here that flashes when that crossing is active. So people, as they approach the intersection, know to turn left, so then go over the bridge and avoid the train. Got it. So it seems like a pretty simple idea, but mm -hmm. it, when you put it in practice, I think it can have some really big results, can it? I think so. Yeah. We won't have the backups that we see at Pitch Kettle, um, which sometimes involves in some unsafe maneuvers of people pulling out of the queue, right. driving into the oncoming traffic lane. Right. Uh, and so we're hoping to avoid that. And I've also seen people that will be down there in the queue and then they use the, the turn lane to use to go around and cut over there on pitch kettle and go the other way to avoid Correct. it as well. Again, not exactly how things are designed and not sure certainly how they should be functioning. No, and not, not often safe either. Got it. So this is the debut of this type of sign we're Correct. seeing here in the city of Suffolk. So there are plans for a few more, are there not? Absolutely. We're going to see how this one works and uh, see if there's any repercussions to it, the way we wired it and connected sure. everything to talk. Right. And so. If everything goes well, as we expect they will, we've got two more in the plans right now. Okay. One on southbound North Main, so that uh, the crossing there at the other end of Prentice, uh, once again, you can't see it from a distance. Right. Uh, the sign will then allow you to turn either left or right on Constance Correct. and take one of the two bridges. Sure. And then uh, a little bit further down the line, we have plans for one somewhere on that end of Constance, uh, either near Catherine Street or near Wilroy, to allow people then to turn off and divert over the Pinner right. overpass. So, I mean, as far as, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty simple functioning device in the sense of, again, when the, when the railroad crossing uh, gates are, and everything is at, sirens and everything, not sirens, but the alarms the bells, and everything, yes. the bells are, alar are triggered there, that's going to then in turn trigger what we have here. That's correct. Flashes yellow for the caution to get people's attention that, that it's coming. Again, very simplistic, but again, big results. I think so. Yeah. So as far as I, I think one thing I do want to mention, and we want to give credit where credit's due, I understand this idea may have come forth from an unusual source. <laughs> yes, my wife uh, <laughs> said, why can't we do something to give us warning if there's a train ahead? Right. And I thought, why can't we? Yeah. And so that is then the genesis of this project and the other two locations that we're looking at. Great. Well, tell her thank you. Absolutely. Make sure the motoring public in the city of Suffolk will tell her thank you. And you and your team as well, as far as for the work here. Yep. And again, being creative in your approach to kind of trying to help traffic keep moving safely mm -hmm. and smoothly as possible. And giving people that heads up notice again to prevent anything from happening again with the turnarounds or people cutting across and going the wrong way or doing UEs in the middle of the yes. intersection. Not good ideas, certainly. Yes. And again, this will be a, a feature I think that people can really utilize. Mm -hmm. and. I think, as you said, you're going to be evaluating kind of how it's being used to make sure, again, it's functioning exactly. as you intend, because there's theory and then there's practice, and sometimes we want to make sure they match up, correct? Yes. And I also want to make sure that I shout out my signal crew, yes. because they did all the heavy lifting on this. They trenched in the cabling. They did all of the connections, uh, made sure that the two intersections could talk to each other. Right. Um, they really did a lot of work to make this happen, so uh, one of the best crews in Hampton Roads, I think. And of course, we're taping on Friday, August the 13th, which means, and just want to clarify, this signal right here is now active right away. It is active right now. Very good. So again, people will see it in use. Well, Robert, I appreciate your time. Absolutely. And again, the ingenuity of you and your team and your wife's help as well <laughs> to make this happen. And we're looking forward to putting it to use. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That would do it for this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Tim Kelly. We'll see you next time.